The syllabus is part of the introductory module. And in our case, we have two sources for uh, information about a syllabus. One is the EHE Curriculum Committee. They developed an 11 part document, a template, on how to create your syllabus. The second source is the Quality Matters Standards for Online Courses. Yes, they're for online, but they also work equally well for face-to-face -face courses concerning the syllabus. We took those standards and inserted them into the 11 parts that the curriculum committee made, and we now have a blended document between those two sources. This you'll find in the resource pages in uh, our homepage and other courses. When you're writing the syllabus, you want to keep the student in mind. We write it, it looks fine, we hand it to our students, they go, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean here. So if you turn it around and read it as if the student was reading it, has it been written from the student-centered viewpoint? Uh, is it consistent on where we're pointing them? Things like that. That helps the students get into the flow of the syllabus and into your course. One of the important parts of a syllabus is the learning objectives. These objectives come from various sources. They could come from the college, from the curriculum committee, from your department. But wherever they're coming from, they're based on Bloom's taxonomy for the most part. And you get those in your course, and they form the foundation for your syllabus. Your assignments will come off of them. They come from the goals. You have course objectives and module objectives. You have assessments based or linked to those objectives. So they're very important and integrated as a part of your course.